Half a million views already. Bro, if this doesn't tell you like how excited people are for this DLC, I don't know what does. Say hi to YouTube. Yes. I felt that one. It's not uh, too late. The big swinging dog. <laughs> Analyze! Mother of God is finally happening, fellas. We are finally. What the fuck? No! This is my stream, Master Cross! This was shot in front of a live studio audience at twitch.tv slash sweatsicle. Okay, so we got some nice grass. Okay, hold on. Dude, this trailer goes so fast. Slow down, bro. You got like inside the belly type of thing. So what are the odds that this is actually all an explorable place though? You obviously got, you got the glaive. Yeah, they're gonna flex the glaive. Are these all new weapons? I think they are. They look like it. This looks like a new exotic pair of boots maybe? Or no, this is all themed armor. Is this one of those gremlins that I like play in trials and then they come into chat and GG me? Left arm in, you put your left arm out, you put your left arm in and you shake it all about. This, this kind of reminds me of the Shattered Realm thing and I feel like this is gonna be like another three player that type of thing, which doesn't super excite me to be honest. So I hope this is something different. Sorry, I just had to do that real quick. You know how YouTube is, guys? I hate to be that guy, but I might have to rip somebody a new one for this. Has this not been the narrative for the story for years? Isn't that the exact same thing that we did with Gaul? Gaul took the light. Yeah, did the light grow legs and walk away? This giant swinging dong. I guarantee you on console, this is gonna cause so much lag if this thing is continually swinging. This guy thinks his golden gun is gonna be able to kill all these thralls. What is this gonna do? I'm gonna be honest, I don't want King's Fall to come back, but I would much rather have Wrath back. If they don't change Oryx, it's ugh. If, if Oryx and Totems don't change to be resident, less resident sleeper, I... Probably not gonna play that raid that much. I'm gonna be honest, I don't even think King's Fall is better than Deepstone. I think Deepstone's better than Wrath, or better than King's Fall. Okay, you got, listen, anybody who's saying GOS is gonna get permitted in this chat. We are looking for two god rolls. I'll break it down when we get there. But if you guys would like to enter into Umbra Roulette, the chance to win $100 or $100 version of Witch Queen, either or. YouTube, if you haven't already heard of HelloFresh, our sponsor for the month. If you guys want to check it out, it's all the ingredients sent to your door. It, 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 it makes it, it makes cooking so easy for dumb people like me. All you have to do is use the code you see on screen here and you can get yourself up to 16 free meals and three, three surprise gifts. You can either use that code or you can click the link that you see in the description below. Here's the deal, you get picked. You either get to choose the splicer or the chosen engram. We're looking for a threaded needle from the chosen engram or the ignition code from the splicer. I will explain the god rolls as soon as we get one of the weapons to drop, uh, just to make it simpler. Emplicity. Where you at? All right, which engram would you like? You gonna go for the ignition code or the threaded needle? Ignition, All right, bud. Now we're looking for slide shot, blinding, danger zone or vorpal, preferably vorpal. Counterbalance. Nice man, god roll, yo. Nice high velocity. You see how high velocity it is? Spoon Ska. Yo, Spoon, where are we at, bro? Slicer? Okay, he said it in all cap. Can you stop yelling? That's my job! Get him out. Get him out. Left one. All right. Red and needle, here we go. You said armor. What? What do you mean, armor? Do you have any idea what you just entered in for or no? The left one. All right, left one it is, bro. Here we go. Oh my fucking god, if he wins, I swear. Bro, I feel like getting a hold of you to give you your Witch Queen copy is going to be a pain in the ass. We're looking for auto-loading, Vorpal, Accelerated, or Liquid. I was about to freak out. A sharp spoon. So we, we just got done with Spoon Scott. Now we have a Sharp Spoon, his brother. And we thread a needle inbound. You are now a Dull Spoon. Yep, Shrimp. Yeah, 
You're about to be shrimp. Pick your engram. That's champ. Thanks for playing. We'll see you next time. You want to go with the ignition code? That's what you want to do? Man, we are really hitting the engrams today. left at this point man get me out dude i've been chasing two god rolls for like a year this is crazy uneasy clap Spicer, my man all right let's do it mr matt 60 splicer what is with all you guys in your splicing today dude all right let's do it again Platt with two T's. Chris Platt? Is there a Chris Platt in the Twitch chat? Good luck, Platt. Here we go, bro. Platt, I'm sorry. You fell flat. Unfortunately, we're gonna have to send you to the Shadow Realm for six hours. Legendary ornaments for weapons? When did they stop doing that? I'm pretty sure if it's like in the season pass, they still do that, right? Isn't this a god roll? Or is this not god roll? They stopped doing them because of sun setting. Now that that's gone, they should do them again. I just wish they would focus on like every weapon in the game skins, not just exotics. Well, I suppose shaders are technically skins, right? But like, dude, some most of the shaders in this game just look like like doo doo bun buns. This will piss him off. Young Bert. Hello, Sweat Cycle. Gonna give him the hurt. Put him in the dirt. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I've seen too many DMTs today. Do you use DMT? <laughs> no. Why not? Dude, I just, I just can't do it. Anything that isn't a hand cannon is so weird to me. DMT is like a hand cannon, but with unlimited range, though. And way too much aim assist. <laughs> How mad do you think that guy is on a scale of 1 to 10? Like you're trolling. You're literally trolling. It's stuck in the hose. Do you just get driver out of the air? <laughs> yup. Isn't that easy to use? Yeah, it's just a red dot sniper, basically. All right, where's my Lorenz driver? Ugh, there's too many wither hordes. Why did you do this? What do you mean, why did I do this? Dude, I swear everyone uses wither horde now because you used it. <laughs> I literally have never really matched people that used it until today and yesterday. No cap. What, dude? I, I don't know what it is, dude. Nice connection, bro. Let's go. Why are you giggling, Ember? <laughs> I don't know. Ember have a little bit too much of the happy gas today, or what? I guess so, dude. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> dude, I just ate a big weenie. <laughs> Wait, excuse me? Yeah. I, there's a big weenie in the teeth right now. Keep that one to yourself, Ember. There's just some things you don't say out loud. Drive him, Ember. Drive him. Make him drive. I am a, a Lorenz main. I've never taken it off. Okay, well, I'm about to use it then, too. I think <laughs> I, I think we should have our whole team put it on. Wait, wait. That, that didn't sound like a tweet. <laughs> how the... How is that a headshot? How is that a headshot? <laughs> you can miss with this thing and kill people. Dude, this gun is stupid. That was the nastiest angle of my life. Uh-oh. Oh, dude, Lorenz, drive to your, my dick in your mouth, bitch! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> this gun is so dumb. How is this gun allowed in the game? Who approved this, bro? I don't know, dude. I'm so hesitant to literally just go through and delete all the weapons that I know I'm realistically probably never gonna use because it would provide big shock factor to a lot of people and it would probably do really well as a video. Cause I literally, bro, I have all these god rolls that are just never gonna be put to use because the meta for them is just so far out of reach or did I make the witch queen come out tomorrow? Yeah, let me just ring DMG real quick. Oh, hey there, Dylan. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Hit the big old red button. Ah, uh, yes, I'll be stuck in queue for six hours. Uh, I expected nothing. Here, I'll give you like, 
How about I give you like the top of each slot? Would you would you want that? This is subject to change with whatever weapon changes they do. This is all PvE related, by the way. The biggest thing for me is having a blinding nade launcher in each slot because blinding nades are extremely broken. So you could do Truth Teller. You could also do the one from Strikes, which is this one. Oh, I always had blinding nades on deck. I learned how broken Headstone was with uh, Stasis. That literally disgustingly broken. SMG, pretty standard. Um, this one has overflow. That's why I like it if, if the recoil feels good you could use the other one too you could use extraordinary rendition if you want you could use that one this uh, this is a bow you're gonna want to have i didn't i wasn't like dude i used to hate bows i kind of like them now and this is the best kinetic bow that you can get you get this from the first encounter in garden of salvation raid pretty easy to go in and just run it three times Arbalest, like just get as many exotics as you can. The most important one in this slot is Wither Horde and Arbalest in my opinion. Same goes with like just regular fusions, I guess. You wanna have like a good regular fusion in your second slot. Cartesian is best in slot for that. Best secondary SMG, I, this this SMG literally beats everything else by a mile. The Aquilus SMG, Threat Detector Surrounded is what you want. Yeah, any other perks, totally your choice. Uh, if you're gonna choose a sniper, this one is best for burst damage. Uh, so burst versus sustained damage, people, you need to learn the difference if you don't. Burst is a lot of damage in a short period of time. Sustained is a lot of damage over a long period of time. So since this is a 140 RPM, you would compare that to something like this, which is a slower fire. So you're gonna put out a lot more damage over a longer period of time. It's 72 RPM. I don't know if I talked about this. This is the best secondary bow. You could pretty much use any one you want. They're pretty standard. Both explosive head and explosive rounds have zero damage drop off you could shoot it from eight miles away and it'll do the same damage brings up another good point you're gonna want a scout rifle you're probably not going to use it much but you get this one by doing the new light quest like three steps in guaranteed god roll overflow explosive payload heavies heavies is like honestly where where your rolls actually start to matter like i could have let's say for instance like a really bad ignition code and a really bad Aikilo SMG roll. Just imagine I only have blinding nades on here and nothing else that's good. And just no like damage or reload perks on here. You'd still be fine. The heavies is where it starts to matter. So for rockets, uh, I have a lasting impression auto loading one in case that's good. This is also really good because it's got explosive light. And then for swords, there's a few different things you could use. I just use this for movement because eager edge. You can also kind of use it for damage. The best two swords for like regular legendary swords are Falling Guillotine and Hero of Ages. This one is insane for ad clear because of unrelenting and chain reaction. Uh, I didn't know it, it has a heavy attack like guillotine too until recently. This thing's kind of goaded. You want jagged sword masters is what you're looking for. Fourth times the charm is better here. It is, but triple tap. If you have triple tap, that'll be fine too, Trey. Don't overthink it, man. Sleeper, you guys know that's good. Lament is good for like a, a sword that heals you while you just go ham. Threaded needle, good sustained DPS. You want either liquid or accelerated coils and then you could do Frenzy or Vorpal. I prefer Vorpal and then auto-loading or Clown. This is this is the best GL in the game, is this one. But I still think GLs don't have enough ammo. Heavy GLs don't for it to matter. I think it's a waste. You could use, there are a lot of different heavies that will both do a lot of damage and do really good ad clear, <clears throat> swords and rockets. But something like a GL just doesn't do that. It runs out of ammo way too quick. Oh, dude, I get so angry when people talk about full court. Full court is the worst perk in the game on a GL. In 99% of scenarios where you're shooting, you have to be so far back to get max damage. It is stupid because if the boss moves at all, you're just going to lose damage. I think it would be a little bit better if you didn't have to actually hit a full court shot for it to hit max damage, you're better off uh, using a, a linear. Yeah, so in circumstances like either Riven or the crown boss where the boss doesn't move, that's fine. I deleted my full court roll though because I never used it and it was just, I hated it. What does the perk do? What, full court? So say I'm standing here and the boss is here. The, the farther back I am, the more damage my shot does. So the longer it takes to hit the target. It's just stupid because if I'm sitting in the back of the room and the boss is up here, 
and the boss takes one foot, steps one foot to the right, I just miss shots, and therefore I lose a shit ton of damage. Yeah, if I didn't talk about Wither Horde, this is the best special weapon you can use in PvE. How do you get Wither Horde? You can get it from this kiosk. You can literally go to the Shadow Keep tab and buy it. What energy scout is like the Night Watch's equivalent? So it can be used with Wither Horde. That is a good question. If you're talking about an equivalent that has explosive payload, you can run Vouch Safe. I haven't used it much, but it's it's a decent weapon. Another one that I really like to use, a secondary scout, it doesn't have explosive. This is the season pass roll. This thing with like uh Dragonfly. I don't and auto loading. I love, uh, dude, any, anytime you can get slide shot or auto loading, auto loading is just such a good perk that it's too, it's stupid if you pass it up. Okay, so let's go over like three builds that I would bring into Witch Queen like right away. So I just say something like this, you can always swap your heavy, but in terms, of, obviously you're gonna have unlimited ammo with your SMG. It's gonna be medium to close range combat. Same goes with your ignition code. So if you have slide shot blinding, you're gonna be able to slide shot, literally just, just spam blind everything in the room and spray it down with the Nikilos or you could continue to clean it up with guillotine. You need to abuse blinding nades if you want to make it easy on yourself. Oh,